Moving to a new country is not easy, and not to mention how much you might gonna spend until you truly settle. Language school, rent, countless bills. So how much does it cost to move to Japan until you settle? Today, I'm gonna share my case as an example to show you how much it costs to start over your life in Japan. My definition of the cost of immigration is every expense before you truly settle in this country. By truly settle means you find a job and have a stable income. If you're lucky enough to find a job before you move to Japan, congratulations and you can quit watching my video. Since I was not the lucky one to find a job before moving to Japan, I need to start over from being a student with applying a student visa. To have your school to sponsor the visa, you need to pay at least one year course fee, which is around seven to nine hundred thousand yen. My one was seven thirty k yen per year in Yokohama, quite average. However, you know to prove yourself to the Japanese government that your budget can cover one year living cost, you probably need to save at least two million yen in your bank account and to show this bank account to the Japanese government. I recall I saved at least six million yen by applying loans from bank because I initially planned to apply for a two year student visa. Since this money is just a proving number, I didn't use it at all. But consequently, there is 500,000 yen loan interest. Aww. Once the student visa thing is done, you are ready to buy a single way ticket to go to Japan. But be prepared for the accommodation fee before you truly settle down in Japan. I booked an Airbnb for 30 days as a buffer. Why Airbnb? As you need to register the Zaidu card with an actual address within 14 days after landing in Japan, which hotel address is unacceptable. And why 30 days? Because I anticipated this whole apartment searching thing is gonna be taking at least one month, which it was. The Airbnb was nice, very cozy, but it was extremely expensive. It cost me 270,000 yen a month, which is four times of my current rent. So if you find it's a little bit too expensive, maybe living in school dorm or share house would be a much better idea. And welcome to stage two, settling in Japan. Since it takes me 15 months to find my current job, so I would like to illustrate more about expense during this unemployed period in Japan. First of all, rent plus utility bills is up to 100,000 yen. I'm currently renting this apartment called Apado in around 63,000 yen, which is generally cheaper but smaller than those with an elevator called Mansion. <laughs> Since I walk to school within 15 minutes, there's not much transportation fee occurred. But just so you know, transportation here in Japan is really expensive. Unless you find a job that covers your monthly kotsuhi, it usually costs at least 1,000 yen to travel from Yokohama to Tokyo. So monthly speaking, 20,000 yen at least. Speaking of my daily expense, I would say Roughly 3,000 yen. Okay, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm an alcoholic and I drink a lot of coffee during daytime. I actually don't eat much, but I do drink a lot of fluid. If you always cook by yourself, drink less beverages, I think 1,000 yen a day would be more than enough. But I mean, as an adult, 3,000 yen a day is quite normal. La. If you exercise regularly, either jog or do yoga for free, or go to the World Sports Center, which costs like 300 yen per time, I would consider this is the most affordable gym plan if you are used to go to the gym for 2 to 4 times a week. I spent like around 10,000 yen on general teeth checking and cleaning a year. Oh, and don't forget, JLPT test. I only took the M1 test once, so it is around 5,500 yen. But if you take up to two times a year, be prepared to pay over 10,000 yen. So to answer your question, my daily expense before I truly settled in Japan would be 5 million yen. So now you may wonder like, wow, you spent that much in just 15 months. Did you do any part-time to cover the expense? The answer is yes, but it didn't help much. Averagely speaking, the part-time hourly rate is around 1200 yen. 
I've done some like language teaching job, hotel concierge, but none of them last for over a month because I was working on the N1 test. And remember I mentioned that I got fired earlier this year? Well, thanks to this experience, I earned like a one month dismissal wage, which precisely covered my three months job hunting period expense. So now you see how expensive it is to move to a new country? I still strongly suggest to find a job first before you move to a new country. But if it doesn't work, I would say the plan I just shared is probably feasible, but I still strongly suggest to save as much money as possible. 移民好貴噶。<音><音><音>